can't believe Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's keep, can you? <sighs> Whatever, I don't even care. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? Let it go, Ray. Come on, we should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said let it go. You're not a very good liar, Petra. We can totally tell that you're upset. I said I don't want to talk about it. Jeez. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on. Let me check. Seems like we're still on... Truck's out! Everybody brace yourself! Ow. Ow. Ugh. Uh, rough ride! Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with... Hi there. My name's Jesse. <clears throat> and you are... <clears throat> Come on, seriously, who are you? I... am a shadow. Sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But... but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right. You want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? I... If you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry. I'm not convinced. Sword time! Say your goodbyes, imposter. Uh, are you kidding me? Why even ask me a question, then? Yes. I'd recognize that exasperated confusion anywhere. You are the real Jesse! He can't be. Ivor! <clears throat> yes! It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What?! <laughs> yeah, what?! It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the Shadow Arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all, so I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless, but after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... are you done? Please? Please be done? Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit. I see a smile. Nope, I'm not smiling. Not even a teeny no. smile. Teeny tiny microscopic iota of a smile. <sighs> Fine. Knew it! Get in here, Petra! What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished. 
after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Ugh, that is such a lie. Just thinking about the Admin running around pretending to be me makes me sick. Yes, I would be frustrated too. Especially seeing how convincing the Admin's disguise is. Jesse, a.k.a. the Admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. They must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out, because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Hmm, yeah. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Just tell him that I'm still obediently doing my time in the Sunshine Institute. Hmm, yes. I'm sure descriptions of your tear-stained cheeks and remorseful eyes will be quite the hit. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get anywhere. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, um, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not the... <coughs> well, that's great. We should let them in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird! 
weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Oh, this is so sad. Benta sent us to join your army. Uh, yeah, real psyched about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we let them join our army? Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Can they be in our army? I'll be good. I promise. We don't have an army soup. Besides, remember what happened to our real army? They all died in that infernal challenge room. I'm sorry, but we can't open the gate. You'll just have to find your compass pathfinding jollies elsewhere. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Soup, for doing us a solid. It's our pleasure! We're kind of already guard to do what we can every single day! Doing solids, saving lives. Gotta say, it feels good, real good! We're here to defeat Romeo and stop all of his challenges. Help us, help you. Uh, help us. Yeah, logically we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right, on it! Whoa, weird llama. She must smell Luna on you. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <coughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Yeah, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents? Who tried entering? That was one day when I was like, Soup, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. Cause it's the seventh. 
What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? You know, like one trillion out of ten. Yeah! Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch in you. Please don't hit me. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration just comes to you, you know? Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Ha! 